Jesse Eisenberg plays a mime in World War II. Who would have thunk it? Here are our interviews here, folks. Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. And my latest film that I want to read for you guys now. And it's called Resistance. This is written and directed by Jonathan Jakobowitz, I think that's his name. And this tells the unsung true story of Marcel Marceau, the French mime clown that helped save does hundreds of kids' lives in World War II. Now, let me confess, I never heard of this story before. You learn something new every day. And Jesse Eisenberg, who is indeed Jewish, which, amazingly enough, I never knew Jesse Eisenberg was Jewish. So, so again, I'm learning something new every day here, folks. Plays Marcel Marceau before. He was the world-famous clown. He was a son of a butcher. I see in the beginning of the film that he's working He's working at a burlesque house, and his father berates him for wanting to work at a, this type of place. And his father, basically being a butcher, is like, yes, my father was a butcher, my grandfather was a butcher, and therefore, you never go hungry being a butcher. But of course, also, we're introduced to a girl played by Bella Ramsey, whose parents were killed in Crystal Knocked, and basically... Their father, before being shot, gives the one more dad answers that you can ever understand as to why, oh, these Germans hate us, basically. In reality, if this girl is a lot older, he'd give her the more straightforward answer, hey, we're a different religion, not because the economy is doing so poorly. Then, of course, there's a wraparound segment here with Ed Harris, who looked like he showed for five minutes, as Ger General George S. Patton, and I'll get to that in a second there, and I'll Miss Elmore Show, played by Jesse Eisenberg, was obviously in the border towns when World War II started. He was obviously entertaining these orphan childs. And obviously, the girl I previously mentioned is one, is, one, is one of these orphans. Now, of course, they go ahead down south to the Vichy area, and obviously life there isn't all that better when the Germans invade, although Halog is better than being in an the occupied part of France. And obviously, we are then introduced to the main villain here, which is Klaus Barbie. Play and you're saying I have no doubt that Klaus Barbie was an evil dude who clearly reveled in the stuff that he was doing. He died in prison in 1991, and obviously he never denounced what he was doing or never renounced his views. But the guy playing him is almost like he's cackling at the sky to a certain degree now. And obviously, he was the, the Butcher of Leon. And obviously, we're also introduced to several different people in the Resistance, one including Clemency Pose, yes, Florida de Cloro from, you know, of the Harry Potter films. Now, obviously, Jesse Eisenberg and her have a very back-to-forth conversation about what it means to want to resist these people. Obviously, she wants to take up armed resistance and hopefully kill as many of these bastards as the before they can kill her. Marcel is just sort of like, well, we might as well just save the kid. Res armed resistance is only going to get us killed. It takes a while for the this other girl to come around to that. And, uh, I'll be honest here, folks. This is a good, but not particularly memorable, you know, World War II epic. This is definitely not trying to be epic in scale here. Clearly, this film ends with them hiding in the woods from Klaus Barbie. And obviously, in the beginning of the film, the Jesse Eisberg character is, is teaching these kids how to climb trees and how basically that works to their advantage in the end of the film. There's not, now, obviously, there is no, say, cliche of, oh yeah, there's a border demarcation line in a film here. Marcel here is portrayed as obviously a guy who wants to do good. He's not portrayed as a greatest guy in the world, but he's a likable dude who clearly rose to the occasion and obviously yes there are some supporting players that really you know okay they make an appearance they leave and obviously there's clearly one scene where bill ramsey is singing in an orphanage obviously Klaus Barbie is exiting people in a swimming pool in the end here folks what i'm going to say about resistance I'm going to give this amazing love. I'm going to give this an Netflix ranking because it's clearly for people to see while they're stuck at home, not, not going out. 
So folks, for your assistance, have you seen this What do you think? Please put everything in the comment box below here, folks. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, enrich yourself with knowledge. I'm at Michael Rich at Rich Reviews 2 on Twitter. I'll see you next time, folks. Yes, hooray.